project I've been working on for a little while is an Apple script along with folder actions to synchronize a folder on a jump drive or some other folder with a folder on my computer. Now the advantage of doing this will be for example your iPod. If your since your iPod has a notes folder and you put plain text documents in there and then your iPod can read it. So what we want to do is we want to be able to manage our notes while the iPod is not plugged in and then when we plug it in it updates the notes folder. Also if we add anything to the notes folder while it's plugged in it'll update that also. To start off what we want to do is we want a notes folder in our home folder. So we'll drag this hit space hold down the uh, no we don't need to hold down any keys. You have the plus symbol right there we'll just drop it on and this adds a notes folder. Now the notes folder has to be at your home folder slash notes with a capital N. And this is changeable, but just leave it like that for now. I'll show you how to change this later. Now what we need is we need some Apple scripts. I provided these on the blog. You can just go there and download them. And this is pretty much what you'll get once you unzip the file. And these are two Apple scripts. We'll open these up. And these need to be edited. These Apple scripts, this part right here, needs to reflect the exact name of your iPod. So if your ne iPod's name is capital M, Y, lowercase i, capital P, O, capital D, then it has to be that. It cannot be M, Y, I, O, P, D. Okay, it has to be exact. And our iPod's name, and to get this, what we want to do is we want to select it, hit return to change the name, copy it. We'll go back to here and we'll paste it right in and that's our exact name. The same applies for here also. And what these scripts do, we, we want to save them right now. Save and save. And what these scripts do is when you run them it will basically it deletes the notes folder on your iPod and replaces it with the notes folder on your computer so that way it's an exact mirror of what is on your computer. I'll show you examples later. Oh yeah. To change it so that way it can work elsewhere, you'll need to change this part right here, swivy line slash notes slash to the name of basically the path, POSIX, pile of path, P O S I X, to your notes folder. And that means slashes, and then for spaces, you have to do actually, you could just do quote like that. And that's what I should have done. So to update that, you know, if we want to call it uh, document slash notes, that's fine. Okay, but it has to be POSIX file path. And you have to change that in both of them right here. We'll quit. Don't want to save. Now that we've done this, we want to set up folder actions for our, so that when we insert the iPod, it will update the notes folder. To do this, we first want to drag these to our folder action scripts. To get to folder action scripts, you can go to uh, applications, Apple scripts, example scripts, folder action scripts by providing an alias inside the folder. <laughs> now to set this up, we'll select that and open it. It's our folder action setup application. And we'll hit the plus sign in the lower left hand corner. I've done this in previous videos, so this is mostly just run over. However, the important part is to hit command shift G while inside the folder chooser. And you have to type in slash volumes slash. The reason you have to do this is because volumes is not accessible from other places, so you just have to type in, you know, here we are. That's how we can tell that we're here, and these are our currently mounted hard drives. That's from when I was messing around with Apple Scripts. I should have deleted that. So here we are. We want to select volumes, and that has to say volumes, and we'll say open. Because we moved our Apple Scripts to the folder action scripts earlier, they're inside this list. We just go down. And for the volumes folder, you want to do sync notes dot script. We'll attach that. And now that it's attached, make sure that this is checked. And we'll close this up. To show you what this does, I'll delete that from our iPod and eject the iPod. Right now, all that happens is, is when we reinsert the iPod, it's going to update. It's going to update the notes folder. 
uh, before I insert it, I want to point out one thing. We'll go to our home folder, notes, notice two files, we'll insert it, and we'll wait. And when I insert it, the screen is going to blink, well, not the screen, but the window. And that's how we can tell that it's synchronized. And then notes, and there we go. Two of them. Now, please note, I, I use the word synchronized, and I shouldn't. But synchronized is not an accurate term for this, because, like I said earlier, we're deleting the notes folder and replacing it with the one on our computer. So if you edit the files, the, the edits will be re erased. So if you want to like synchronize between multiple computers and all that, this is not for you. Sorry. Now that we've done this, we want to be able to update the notes folder to on our computer while the iPod's plugged in to reflect the notes folder on our iPod. To do this really isn't that hard. We'll hit new, right our home folder, go to notes, and I want to say more uh, configure folder actions. We'll say plus symbol, and we'll hit command shift H, notes, and that says notes folder. That's how we know it. We'll open it up, and now we use the other script we, I gave you, and that is the notes folder script. We'll say attach, and there we go. Make sure that this is checked again. It should be, but you know, just in case. We'll quit that, and now if we update our notes folder on our computer, it should update the notes folder on our iPod. Let's test this out. I'll make a copy of this and then we'll wait and the screen should blink. And once it's done blinking, we'll go to our iPod and voila! is an exact copy of the notes folder on our computer. There you go, it updated again. I don't know why that happens, but it does. So now, uh, if we delete stuff in here, uh, it's not going to affect stuff. However, once we reinsert it, as I'll show you, we'll eject it, reinsert it, and now that we're reinserting it, it's going to update, there we go, it's updated, and our notes folder is the same as the notes folder on our computer. So that's how you can set it up to pseudo synchronize your notes folder on your computer with notes folder on your iPod. Um, note that your notes folder has to be in your home folder. I advise you to copy the notes folder on your iPod, just drag and drop onto your home folder, and that way you can uh, have a copy of what's currently in there. And on Sunday, I'm going to be releasing an Apple script, which I'm working on, that will cut down a long text documents into a document right, the right size for the iPod. So go back to the blog on Sunday, check that out. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you later.